If you crack your final interview for cruise ship, you aren't over yet. You need to go through visa interview. And those of you who are selected for US-based cruise ship, you have to go through C1D visa interview. So in this video, I'm going to give you a complete guide for C1D visa interview. So stay until end of this video. Hello everyone, my name is Bhavana Rai, a crew member of Carnival Cruise Line and in this video I am going to guide you career on board cruise ship. I have many videos on my channel, go check all the videos on my channel and sorry for the background noise because there is a construction work going on but I think my voice is audible to you. So what is C1D visa? C1D visa is a transit visa for crew members who have to board either the cruise ship or the aeroplane in the United States. This visa does not allow any crew members to work on land. So how to apply for C1D visa? Once you get selected for final cruise ship interview, you get an offer later, then you have to apply for DS-160 form. File form DS-160 and pay for visa fees which cost around dollar 140 or indian rupees 11000 approximately 11000 remember once you pass your visa interview your money will get reimbursed once you start working on the cruise ship then add your supporting documents if your country has to make siemens book then add the print of siemens book as well and then schedule for your visa interview now for the visa interview you need to attend for two days on the first day you need to go through your biometrics and carry all your documents along with you the digital fingerprint scanner will take the fingerprint scan of all your 10 fingers and also the facial scan will be captured so dress up uh, in a formal attire because the picture taken on that day will get featured on your uh, visa page on the second day is your final interview with the officer in the embassy so you reach the embassy at least half an hour earlier if your visa interview is scheduled for 8 o'clock 8 a.m in the morning then reach the embassy at least by 7 30 or for the safe site reach at least by 7 a.m my suggestion to you do not carry any metallic objects do not carry your cell phones along do not carry any atm cards girls please do not carry lipstick because there will be a security check outside and if you carry any, any metallic things you need to um, keep it outside the embassy you are not allowed to take it inside the embassy so you will be given a locker if in case you carry but you have to pay for the locker or if you need to carry those uh, take uh, one companion at least one friend or family your brother sister who isn't scheduled for your visa interview on your way inside the embassy you need to go through the security check and your documents verification will be done and once it's done you need to stand in a queue to wait for the visa interview so the officer will ask the relevant questions according to the documents and the form which you have submitted so please make sure you mention the correct answer in ds-160 form because the answer which uh, officer will ask should match with the answer which you mentioned in your ds-160 form sorry i had to change the background because of some noises but here the noise is still coming sorry for that here in this video i am going to share some important questions which officers may ask you during your visa interview number one is your introduction number two is which ship or vessel you are going to join 
What is your job profile on board cruise ship? Where are you currently working? What is your job profile currently? These are very simple questions but very tricky ones because the officer wants to know whether your current job profile match with the job you are going to do on board or not. So, uh, with my past experiences, I have learned with few of my friends who was working as a retailer in a mall, uh, she applied for a waitress job on board cruise ship. So she passed the interview but she failed in a visa interview because she was not confident about her job profile. So when you reply or when you answer to the officer, please uh, answer confidently about your job profile. And another important question the officer may ask you is, do you have any family members or relatives or your friends in the United States? So your answer should be no. In any circumstances, even if your family or relatives, friends, whoever is in United States, your answer should be no because officers might think that you may jump the ship and start working on land illegally so you might have a chance to get reject in visa because C1D visa does not allow any crew members to work on land. It's only a transit visa. So your answer should be no for this question. So whenever you are scheduled for your visa interview, please prepare ahead because it requires practice and even if you if your English conversation is weak you can show confidence after practicing so that's for this um, video I will come again in another video with another topic thank you so much for sticking until here thank you so much for watching this video bye take care